immunity looks like it happens for most people. It looks like it's pretty durable for at least eight, nine months. One issue on which there has been a lot of confusion, and, and right, I mean, every day there are two papers on this. Uh, it, it's a question which I'm pretty confused about, so I'm hoping that both of you will be able to shed light on this. So, Dr. Jai, you first. Uh, immunity, uh, short term, long term, um, linked to antibodies or not, the fact that antibodies vanish, um, but then you have another study that says you have B cells and T cells which remember the virus and helps. Um, I'm asking you this also because whether a vaccine is effective or not will also depend to a significant extent on the quality of immunity that you that a vaccine is able to give. Um, so what's your own sense? Yeah, great. Thank you. Very good question. Um, let me say a couple of things as a starting point. Immunity is complicated and it has felt to me that in the last nine months, everybody has become an immunologist. So. Um, People need to take a step back and understand that this is a complex area, but the evidence so far has been largely reassuring. I would say that I look at the data on immunity, I look at all the mechanisms by which we understand immunity, and I'm feeling reassured. So let's talk a little bit more about that. We know across the world that 50, 60 million people have been known to be infected with this virus. There have been reinfections, some reinfections as short as two months after the initial reinfection, but those are very uncommon. So what we would expect, I never expected 100% immunity forever. That's not a realistic expectation for any virus. What you should expect, what I was hoping, is that most people would be immune for at least some period of time, ideally a year or longer. What we're finding is almost everybody who's been infected and recovered seems to have some degree of immunity. Occasionally not, right? There are gonna be exceptions. And what we're finding is that that immunity is durable for at least eight or nine months. It might be much longer. We just don't have the experience. We don't have five years of experience with this virus. So at this point, what I, I don't, and by the way, we need to not get worried about studies that show that antibodies disappear or they get very low. That happens with lots of diseases where you still have immunity. So the key point here is immunity looks like it happens for most people. It looks like it's pretty durable for at least eight, nine months. And if I were at this point betting, I would say most people are gonna be immune for at least a year. And that, and by the way, I think that'll happen with the vaccine as well, though we don't know, of course. And so based on all of that, my guess right now is that we may be coming up with vaccines where we have to get a booster shot every year. That's okay, it's not great, but it's okay. Um, or maybe it'll last longer, we don't know. But I have become less and less worried about immunity over time as the data have come in. And I try to avoid the headlines that I think cause all of us more fear than they do give us you know, insights into what's going on. Dr. Ja, uh, home tests, quick opinion on home tests. The first one was approved yesterday. Uh, what's your view? Uh, I think it's great. I want to see many, many more of these. Uh, I, I'm sorry that it has taken us so long to develop these things. I wish we had them uh, three or six months ago. It's going to be a while before they're widely available, but I think it's great and we should have more of them.